The human body contains lots of water. Our body is about 70% water. Our brain is about 85% water. And our bones are about 33% water. Water is very important for the human body. We can live for four weeks without food. But we can't live for more than about three days without water. We need to drink about eight glasses of water every day. We need to drink even more water when we play sports and when it's hot. We need water because it keeps our blood healthy. Our blood is about 50% water. Blood takes food to different parts of our body. It takes oxygen from our lungs to other parts of our body, too. If we don't drink water, our body gets dehydrated. If we're dehydrated, our kidneys and our brain don't work. Then we get very sick. Homeschooling is a choice made by some parents to provide education to their children in their own homes. It's popular in the United States, and it is becoming more popular in the United Kingdom, Australia, South Africa, and Japan. There are several advantages to homeschooling. For example, parents choose what their children learn. Because parents can teach their children one on one, they often understand the curriculum better and more quickly, too. On the other hand, if their children need more time to learn something, parents can work with them at a slower pace. Parents also like to spend more time together as a family. And children feel safe at home. A safe environment often leads to better learning. There are disadvantages as well. Homeschooled students often feel lonely because they don't spend as much time with other kids their age. They don't get to talk with classmates about things like parents and homework. Parents also feel lonely because they must spend time teaching children. And don't get to talk with other adults at work. In addition, homeschooled students sometimes cannot play school sports or participate in other activities and programs available to people in a school. Only you can decide if homeschooling is right for you and your family. Take the time to do the research and consider the pros and cons. Being active is very important, but do you know why? There are many benefits to exercise. It is good for your mind and body in many ways. Exercise makes your body stronger. You need a strong body so you don't get sick easily. Exercise is good for your heart. Your heart pumps blood around your body. The more you exercise, the stronger your heart is. Exercise helps you keep a healthy weight. A healthy weight is important so you don't get sick. Exercise helps your brain work better. When you exercise, more blood goes through your brain. The more blood that goes through your brain, the better your memory gets. Exercise makes you happier. Exercise is a great way to reduce stress. It gives you more energy to do things that make you happy. The more things you do, the better you sleep. Exercise makes you strong, healthy, and happy. And it's fun to exercise. So don't forget to exercise. Penguins are actually birds. They have a black body with a white front. Some people say they look as if they are wearing a tuxedo. Their legs are short, and when they walk, they look funny. Although penguins are birds, They cannot fly through the air. However, they are said to fly through water. This is because of the way the penguin's body and wings move.
This movement and the shape of their body allow them to travel through water very fast. It is believed that the ancestors of the penguin were around 65 million years ago. These days, there are about 17 different species of penguins. Penguins cannot breathe under the water. They can hold their breath for a long time, but jump up out of the water when they need to breathe. Like us, penguins also need to drink water to survive. Unlike us, penguins can drink seawater. Their bodies can filter out the salt and turn it into fresh water. Chocolate has a history going back more than 1,500 years. The Mayans who lived in Central America loved chocolate. The Mayans worshipped the cacao tree. Fruit pods grow on the cacao tree. The cacao beans are inside these pods. The Mayans picked cacao beans and made drinking chocolate from them. The Mayans believed that cacao beans were the food of the gods. Mayan legend said that cacao beans came from paradise. They believed that drinking chocolate made people clever. After the cacao beans were prepared in a special way, they were dried in the sun. At this stage of the process, you could smell cocoa. Cocoa is the name for drinking chocolate. The Aztecs, who lived in Central America, liked to drink cocoa. Both the Aztecs and the Mayans added spices, which made it taste bitter and spicy. The Aztecs thought highly of cacao beans, which were used like money. People used to pay taxes to the emperors in cacao beans. When the Spanish attacked Mexico in the 16th century, they were surprised to see that the great Aztec emperor did not keep gold or silver in his palace. Instead, Emperor Montezuma kept cacao beans in his palace. The emperor made his favorite drink from the beans, which were his treasure. Montezuma drank about 50 cups of chocolate every day. The Spanish took cacao beans back to Europe. They mixed the beans with vanilla and sugar so that the chocolate drink did not taste so spicy and bitter. Facebook is a free social networking site on the Internet. It was created by three computer science majors at Harvard University. At first, it was limited to students at Harvard, but eventually it was opened up to the general public. Today, Facebook is used all over the world and by all age groups, although users must be at least 13 years old. Even though Facebook was originally designed for university-aged students, the fastest-growing Facebook age group is between the ages of 30 and 50. Colors in nature have universal meaning. For example, Trees and plants are green, so the color green often represents life and nature. Blue, the color of the sky, oceans, and lakes, makes us think of air, water, and peace. Colors in the red spectrum, yellow, orange, and red, are warm colors. Those colors may give us a feeling of warmth and comfort, or feelings of anger. Colors in the blue spectrum, colors such as blue, green, and purple, are cool colors. They often give a feeling of calmness or sadness. These ideas about color are similar around the world. 
Humans have known about the power of color for a long time. Ancient cultures in China, Egypt, and India used colors to heal sicknesses. People believed that each color had a healing power. For example, people used blue to decrease pain. Even today, some people say that colors can help people feel better. However, research shows that although colors may change the way a person feels, they cannot heal an illness. About 2,400 years ago, there were many small countries in China. There were often wars. People didn't want enemies in their country, so they built big walls to keep them out. For more than 2,000 years, people built walls, destroyed walls, and built new walls. The Great Wall of China is really many walls. Together, they are about 7,000 kilometers long. The walls are about seven meters high. There are also many taller towers. Prisoners, soldiers, and other people built the wall. They transported the stones and bricks by hand. This work was hard and dangerous. About three million people died building the wall. Later, more than one million soldiers guarded the wall. But it was hard to stop the enemies. People also used the wall as a road. Today, Tourists like to walk along the wall. For many years, people thought that you could see the Great Wall of China from the moon. But this is not true. One of the worst natural disasters happened in Indonesia on December 26th in 2004. A huge earthquake under the Indian Ocean caused a giant wave or tsunami that traveled thousands of kilometers across the ocean at great speed. By the end of that day, more than 150,000 people had died. Many thousands more people were hurt, and millions of people in many countries lost their homes. Lots of people helped after the tsunami. Families, friends, and neighbors helped each other. Many people came from countries all around the world to help, too. Governments sent workers to help, and charities sent volunteers. One of the biggest jobs was to clean up the beaches and towns. People saved things like wood and stones to build new homes and buildings. About 2,000 years ago, people in the Middle East bought and sold cloth and spices in many countries. They often traveled across land in large groups called caravans. They used camels to transport people and things. One of the places where the caravans stopped was Petra. Petra is a fantastic city in the desert in Jordan. People built the city in the pink cliffs. The caravans stopped in Petra because it had water and places to sleep, and it was safe from enemies. Some of the caravans were seven kilometers long and they had 2,500 camels. At different times, people from different places lived in Petra. They made wonderful temples, a theater, a palace, and tombs in the pink cliffs. Later, earthquakes destroyed a lot of Petra. Today, Many tourists visit this amazing place. 
People also make movies here, for example, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade.